Breathe. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Jeez. Uh, okay, we do have audio. Good. It wasn't showing up for a second. I was worried. I was like, David, what did you do this time? And this time I did nothing, which is all I ever do, because that's who and what I am. Welcome to the Relay Station. Uh, hey, Eric, can you, uh, can you hear Eris? Because he seems to be talking. I can't hear a fucking word. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I can't hear him at all. Weird. It gets funnier every time. Well, uh, um, welcome to the podcast. Um, I hate to break it to everyone, but we're actually not going to talk about Star Citizen at all today. Uh, Diablo 4 came out, and all I really care about is Diablo 4. And well, actually... fuck this, I'm out. I hate that game. <laughs> I just want everyone to if I know. I want to play something like that. I'll just sit here and click my mouse for twenty fucking minutes and go. Oh, I'm you know playing what? a game. You know what? No, hang on. Have someone screw... just walk in. You've leveled up. Can I just say screw I paid Discord? Seventy quid for this. Can I just say screw Discord for a second? Because no, no. Because okay. hang on. Because before the show, you were having some camera problems, right? But you were on, and I put your names to the right names. I had to swap them. And then you disconnected and reconnected and it moved your cam like your positions. So Truth now you have David. the wrong names. I, I like swear. Story. <laughs> I did No no, I saw it too. I moved from the right to the middle when I when I turned Hate my it. camera back on. So, you know, uh, my my, my camera so fucking my attractive. camera issues was that I had to take apart my computer and I forgot that my camera literally like fell down behind my PC. Which, you know, isn't really the right spot for it. <laughs> We'd make do. Um, so, I want to... So, Tip, Tip is saying that people are mad that there was no master modes in the last ISC. Um, I genuinely don't understand why they thought there would be. The ISC was about Arena Commander and changes to people Arena Commander. That, that there would be master modes in Arena Commander. I mean, there may yet be Master Modes in Arena Commander, but Master Modes are not part of Arena Commander. Arena Commander is its own separate thing. Master Modes... Well, I'm just... Are the flight I'm models, just looking so forward to should... testing Master Modes out so I can say that I was a Master Beta tester. Wow. I knew that was coming. I was just glad I pulled it off. I'm sure you were. Hmm. Mm. If you love me, you'd swallow that. Oh, I will. All right. Um, oh boy. Yeah, we're off to a we're off to a start. Two <laughs> fish in a tank. To a start. The show has begun. It might Two be fish in a tank. One turns to the other and says, "Do you know how to drive this thing?" <laughs> oh man. Two fish. Two fish in a tonk. In a tonk. Two soldiers in a tonk. One says to the other, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> two fish in a tonk. No, two soldiers in a tonk. One says to the other, woo, 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 woo. other one says, You love me, you'd swallow that. Uh... <laughs> you know, when you're like, I don't know how to follow up on that. Like, I don't know what to... And now we will give segue. A mouth <laughs> <laughs> like, what do I say now? Uh, oh, man. Shouldn't say anything if your mouth is full. <laughs> <laughs> move on! Move on! I'm so sorry! Move on! Hello. Welcome to the relay station. We swear we're serious. No, um, we swear we. Wait, what? <laughs> um, what? we swear bollocks. We swear, yeah. <laughs> Frequently. Hi, hey, Miami. Miami. I'm sorry. Hey, Miami. <laughs> yeah. Apologies to everyone watching. Point, we've got Eris drinking wine right out the bottle. <laughs> Is there another way to drink it? I mean, it's not the first time. <laughs> Won't be the last. Oh, oh my goodness. 
So onwards and upwards. I I want to. Uh, right now we're drinking. A well, we're, just, we're violating all of the Twitch ser terms of service today. <laughs> Fuck Twitch. Um, we're drinking a Gabbiano Cavaliere d'Oro, uh, a Chianti from 2021. Whose liver are you eating with it? Um, I've never eaten liver. I refuse to. Hey, Malkiri, how's it going? Look, hey, just Malkiri. because I am drinking something out of a wine bottle does not mean that it is necess necessarily wine, nor that it is necessarily alcoholic. You can't actually tell that this is alcoholic or not. So, really, I'm not breaking any rules. Yeah, it's just grape juice. Mm-hmm. It's been left out a little too long, but. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Oh, Kerry, calling me out. I mean, like, he's right, but damn. <laughs> I assume he. I'm going to go with they. I am very sorry. Pronouns. Uh, I'm old and I pronouns are fucking ancient. That's just, you're all people. Meat popsicles. Just everyone is a meat popsicle. Um, okay. Let's talk about Star Citizen. Um, yeah. Got something that's sort of Star Citizen related, but sort of not. I'm sort of having, um, a little bit of an existential crisis right now due to, you? uh, yeah, I know. Crazy, right? <laughs> it's like, which one this week? <laughs> which one is this week? Yeah, I'll, I'll, well, I'll tell you which one it is this week. So, um, the global average temperature breached 1.5 Celsius and global water temperatures are, uh, you know, well off the charts. Um, climate change seems to be hitting very vociferously this year in ways that nobody actually thought was going to be possible. And um, we might be way more fucked than we thought. Um, so I'm currently wondering, I'm currently thinking that based on, on my work and my stance on climate, I don't, like, I'm wondering if I should fly to CitizenCon. Or if I should, you know, practice what I preach and avoid the uh, greenhouse gas emissions from flight, from air travel, which are a huge uh climate impact or for all fuck just do a load of drugs anyway screw it why not we're yeah, gonna die uh, let's just go high i, 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 know. I think I, we should issue a challenge to david i think we should force him to build a solar powered boat and meet us there <laughs> i i will apologize on behalf airplane. of canada I will apologize on behalf of Canada for all of the smoke that's happening up here. Um, I will say, though, that it's actually not Canada's fault. Most of it is the United States fault, and I can tell you exactly why. No, no, I can tell you exactly why. One, the United States is the biggest emitter in the world um, and has, I mean, no, they're not the biggest emitter currently, but they've had the most significant impact over their history. They have been. They have. Yeah, also, yeah, you, okay, okay, fine. Also, also, um, a lot of the forest fires that are burning currently in Canada are actually in monoculture forests that are being used as um, carbon offsets. So the idea and they don't is, have any rakes. They don't. We Canada doesn't have any rakes. Um, no, we lost them all. We lost them. Yeah. Well, we actually, actually you know, what the real truth is, is we turned them all into hockey sticks. In hockey we're sticks, bit, yeah. Uh, we're we're a little bit too um, obsessed. And um, I'm looking forward to the new um, Canadian hockey team, the mm -hmm. um, Calgary Flames. Nope, I'm going to go with <laughs> name a place in Canada that begins with P. Many. I just need one. Pembroke. There you go. Thank you. The, <laughs> the, Pem <laughs> the Pembroke Pizzlies. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. That's good. Uh, Malkiri... Bears and Grizzlies are meeting and they can breed because they're the same bear. 
Malkiri, yep. it's kind. It is kind yes. of funny that Alberta's hockey teams, the Flames and the Oilers, are both the bat. Like they're they are like here, Alberta. We are everything that is, uh, you know, contributing to climate change. That's that's yep. Alberta's national or provincial identity is oil and fire. <laughs> Fuck. Yay. Um, yeah. Anyway, Would the most Canadian thing. <laughs> be a hockey stick with a maple syrup core that's coloured like a mountie. No, there's no poutine on it. It's close. Also, you're missing the beaver. Yeah. You need a beaver there somewhere. Well, the 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 stick had to be, uh, you know, uh, chewed out by a beaver. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> you did okay okay we're 10 minutes in this is about the time when we normally get to start yeah, let's citizen. get over the beaver fever and get on with it <laughs> yep uh, all right david <laughs> why are you calling me out i'm not the one he's the one who did it me i'm also still apparently in the car I'm honest canada's national animal is the beaver it's gotta be it here. is do you know what the uh uh france's national animal, national animal is you? The cock. So, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yes, you are still Shiver, and Shiver is still you, uh, and that's not going to change, because I changed it once. What happened in Star Citizen this week? <laughs> I'm okay <laughs> being Nakara, that's fine. All right, let's go see what happened in Star Citizen this week. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Vornikara being me, though. No, I like it. This is from this week's, right? Nope, sure isn't. <laughs> I'm like, oh. wow, it's good last week video. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> Okay. Give me a moment. Something yep. went wrong here. I mean, yeah. I'll tell you, it, it's one of those days today. Um, yeah, there's, there's been like little hiccups all day for me so far today, and I've only been awake for mm. four hours. That's Twitch what's wrong. Twitchy, Discord's been Discordy. Uh, got no, typhoon. That's, that's really oh, weird. So. Uh, buh, 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 buh. All right, Eric and I will reenact the previous Inside Star Citizen. I had to make, yeah, yeah, because it does seem like the other one. Uh, and there were ships, and they were like, <laughs> and then there were lasers, and they were like, <laughs> and then there were some kinetic guns, and they were like, <laughs> and um, someone sneezed, and I went, a tooth. And uh, at the end, Jared, uh, I, I say Jared, I'm not on a first name uh, basis with the um, man. I'm very sorry. Mr. Huckabee. Well, you, you should, said, yeah, you what did we go, learn this week? No, you got to get his full name. Jared, Mr. Jared Disco Lando Huckabee. That's right. Yeah, you got it. All right. Here we are. Thank you for for covering me there. Uh, I got the, the stuff from this week. Um, this looks so good. Yes, this Did looks you see good. The, the cap ships quantum in the app, in the Atmo map. Reenact that. Hang on. <laughs> Been there before. I'm gonna get petrol and I'll just cover myself. Hang on. <laughs> just run. Why? So the detail on that moon is so cool. I am really excited for these updates to come. I I think they're great for Arena Commander. I think that the updates for Star Marine are even more important. Um, I feel like the FPS in Star Citizen might be good, but I've but let's be completely honest. I have never really engaged in FPS in the Persistent Universe because if you go into a bunker, nine you shot a gun. Yes, but 99 times out of one, 
Um, Wait, what? All, yes. That's all of really the AI. Percentage. All of the AI in the bunker will be completely immobile and won't shoot at you. Well, they're usually mobile. They run. They run, but they don't shoot at you. No, they don't shoot it's... at you. They will once they realize you're there, which is usually on like a 30 second delay. Yes, it's just <laughs> not very good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I don't know how Star Citizen's FPS is that... actually is. The updates to Arena Commander and Star Marine might mean that I get to find out. I love I love first person shooters. Um you do. They are my as as they say, they are my bread and butter. Uh I used to play, you know, Call of Duty and Battlefield semi competitively. Um The Call of Duty was before there was really like competitive so it's weird but like i like i like fps's i think that star citizen has a potential to have a really good fps mode but it's been hard to test it um yeah and and malkiri you, yes, you say that like, but you it, one thing that the stage at the moment um okay Let's show some appreciation for the fact of you're in a spaceship. Then suddenly you get out of a fucking spaceship, and then you're on a f you're on foot, and yep. just like that, yep. just like that. Oh, it's, there, it's oh, outstanding. Yes. There needs to be some appreciation for that, and that's that's oh, not well, new absolutely. tech. Don't get me wrong; I'm not praising it or anything like that. I'm not saying it's revolutionary. Lots of games have done it before, but it's just the fact that it's in there right now in Star Citizen, where you are literally just insta switching from vehicle mode, yes. gunner mode. Straight onto FPS. It's been well, done it's, before, but it's been not done. <laughs> often, and usually not in the scenario in the in which it's being done in Star Citizen. Um, I really I mean, liked Battlefield, B, like BF. You, you're I, in a tank. You, you become the tank. You become the tank. Yeah, you yeah. you trans you teleport inside. You don't run up a ramp and yeah. oh, get into your tip, or anything. Tip: um, Tarkov is a horrible hot mess. Um, if it's not like it, Tarkov is Tarkov isn't Tarkov a lot. I, I haven't played it, but I've, I hear I've a lot of similar it. things coming out of it to like the initial launch of PUBG when it was just a total dumpster no, fire. Well, it, it Tarkov is a dumpster fire, but it's a dumpster fire that hates you. Um, <laughs> like P PUBG, <laughs> it, no, seriously, PUBG, it's fine if it's a dumpster fire because it's, it, um, <laughs> It's almost like a roguelike, right? It changes every match. There's not really yeah. any... But Tarkov, all of your gear persists, right? So whatever you make oh, it out of the level with is what you keep. But if you die in the level, you lose all of your shit. You die in real life. Oh, basically. But... And, and that, like... That's probably going to happen in Star Citizen, except there's going to be insurance, and hopefully Star Citizen insurance will be more lenient than Tarkov, because Tarkov has insurance. But the insurance works like this. You, before a match, you insure your equipment, you go into the match, you die, all of your equipment drops. If any of that equipment is taken by another player, you never get it back. Any of the stuff that's left on your corpse that no one took, you can get that back from the insurance. Ouch. Like that gets insured. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. It, if, it's... I, if I've got insurance, um, can I respawn fast enough that I can see my own body and loot myself? <laughs> so I, I hope two years from now, we're, it's gonna be we're, I know. we're doing an update on, on uh, Death of a Spaceman. I, and bam, that line's going to come out of Shimmer's mouth again. <laughs> no, the worst thing is going to be like, in a year or two, I'm going to be getting married. And Shimmer's going to come to that ceremony. <laughs> the only part of his wedding just, <laughs> just to get up to the, the microphone and be like, so if you run fast enough... Can you get back here and marry yourself before, like, or something, right? I don't even know, but 
totally. He's gonna he's gonna find a way, and he's thinking about it right now. Right now, he's like, "How do I work that into a wedding?" And he has speech? two years to write the speech. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, Tarkov sucks. It's because if you die, you lo- you essentially lose everything, which is bad to begin with. But one, there's bugs, and two, there's just a tremendous amount of hackers and there's people that like devote their entire lives to it they show up in in you know the mission with like 80 times scopes and know all of the spawns and they'll just kill you right off. like it's not it's not a lenient nice game the game hates you i yeah. really hope that star citizen doesn't get that but i do hope that star citizen gets that like the feel of the gunplay because the gunplay in Tark Club is genuinely great and the attachment systems and like everything's physicalized and it's really nice. I know this there's, is a bit of a rant, but but there there is a lot that they can do uh to really improve uh the FPS aspect of the game. Uh Jesus Christ. Uh I'm trying it's been such a long time since I've actually played an FPS properly uh, I think Battlefield 3 or 4 felt the most solid when you're a, an infantryman and guns have always been hit. How ironic. The guns it have miss. always been hit and miss in BF with their feel. You know, 2142, what a game. Fucking amazing game. Thank you, Miami. Now I'm sad that I can't play it. Thank you. Um, but it, I, um, do you rem- probably don't remember? 90s version, I think, of Aliens vs. Predator. No. Like, not the original original, but original on PC, I believe, for its time. Amazing graphics, and uh, if you were the Marine in that, you were going to have a bad fucking time. Mm, you were going to have a yeah. bad fucking time. You are one Marine against Xenos and Predators. And, yeah. Um, but it felt good. You know, it, it had best atmosphere. It captured that atmosphere so fucking well. Um, you You felt like a you felt like a fucking mortal man with a pretty powerful gun and a flamer. But then you, it was radical the way that you wouldn't go into the alien. And then it was so different. The movement was just smooth. Go forth, charge, get in. Each character felt solid, felt controlled. You know, you yeah. were a predator. You felt like you were a fucking tank. You know, your feet would stomp. That was a great feel. So capture that. I mean, they can't really capture that because they're not going to have aliens, but what I think that Star Citizen has a really good a chance to capture... Did we just delete several races from this game? Yeah, but they're not playable. But they will be. Someday. Um, look, yeah. I think we're going to get... 2142, we already discussed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beta. Battlefield... Okay, so Battlefield has always been, to me, the most interesting like war fps because it does have the you know tanks and vehicles and uh helicopters and scale. planes it it is it's scale but um and some of the more recent battlefields have actually tried to fix this and I, to be honest i haven't played the most recent battlefield just cuz i lost it was a dumpster most, fire it was a dumpster fire um, battlefield 1 no, no. Battlefield. It was um, five. Here, no. I'll get. I'll I find can't it. remember. Anyway, um, Battlefield had a game mode that I personally loved, and that I think that Star Citizen really needs to to emulate in Star Marine, and they were planning to with Theaters of War, which is Rush, which is um, conquest. I always found too chaotic. Like, there's no organization. It's just piddle around rush was very formulaic and like move 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 and it was a it was a tug of war uh between points between two like the two sides in that you know it wasn't just a giant map and you could take any point at any time it was more a little more linear and i think that star citizen has a really good chance to um to do that because in Star Marine especially because the gameplay in Star Citizen is a lot less arcadey and a lot more planned and thought out 
And that's what um, lends itself to Rush, to, to that game mode. The newest Battlefield is 2042. Right. Oh, fuck, that's right. That was that's... Dumpster Fire, wasn't it? It was yes. a dumpster fire. It had massive, uh, massive issues on release. Yeah, um, mostly. But it was related, it, it, which is a big problem. in considering, and this keeps yeah. happening to multiplayer games. I don't understand why they don't they don't like realize that they're a multiplayer game. But uh, the server's got to work. Yep, it's really important. Mm. Yep. <laughs> uh, even Star yeah. Citizen servers don't work though. Let's be really honest. So, um, well, yeah. But we're not. They're not releasing it. They know it's not yes, done. I know. Twenty forty two is supposed to be done. And they're like, here I, it is, and everyone's I like, know. it can't be played. And it, I know. And EA <laughs> that, is but, not a small company. It's no. not. <laughs> I, but we should be talking. Like, I, I don't care what EA has done. Lots of the big yeah, companies yeah. are doing really friggin' stupid things lately. Um, the number of launches in the last two or three years that should not have been launched has oh, been yeah. just Unreal. insane did i really want did did we all swap realities with others because we're in this weird world now where sony are actually releasing their games on pc I know. capcom are actually being recognized as successful on the pc yep. mm -hmm. but what do you know why they are universe is this do you know why well, they are because they're not fucking it up yep because well, it's because like so, like except for Last of Us, which had some issues. Sony's taking time. They're taking a year or a year and a half to launch their stuff on PC. It launches perfectly on on the console because it has to, and then they take time to PC launch fix. it on PC. I I, I it's a blanket term. Uh, so forgive me, and it's a very inaccurate term, but it gets point across of it. it's easier to develop a game for a console. Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, way easier. You have one piece of hardware you need yep. to worry about, yep. or in some cases, like the Xbox, two pieces of hardware. Um, yeah. But you know, you're. It's very limited in what you have to support, so you can make it speaking, work. Um, speaking of the Xbox. Please join us tomorrow at 1 p.m. Yeah. Eastern. Actually, probably a half hour before. Yeah, a little earlier yeah. than that. We'll, we'll do a bit of pre-show. We'll, we'll start. We're going to be on be a for hours. <laughs> yes. So please join us at like 1230-ish Eastern tomorrow for the yeah. Xbox Showcase and then the Starfield Direct, uh, where we're going to see hours? what... We don't know. I don't know. Thing, we, have no, we have no yeah. idea. Probably going to be somewhere between one and to three hours i'm not entirely sure how long uh, definitely more than an hour yeah definitely more than an hour um do we have have, have they announced how long i don't know uh, the xbox showcase is tomorrow i don't know but we are going to watch it um oh god i really want to talk about the summer games fest too uh is, is Sable Sable Ram? Get, like it is look i tried <laughs> the new halo they're right. And no, they are Sable Ram is right. Um and it's really sad because they have so like they, they got so close. There is a good game there. There is genuinely a good game there. Uh Wait, actually, what game are we talking about here? Hit the, the new Halo. Oh yeah, I I felt bad because I, I had to, well, I had to say no to it because the, the I, 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 I'm I not the... a huge boycott person, but the only feature I cared about was split screen co-op mm. and they promised that it was going to be there. And then yeah. they just went, Oh, sorry. never mind. Yeah. <laughs> like a year after it was supposed to be in the game. Uh, Sable, or Sable Rab is right. Halo is one of those generational games, I think. For, mm. for for us people that have got one foot in a grave, it was Doom. Not 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 the one that you're thinking of. No, I know the one you're thinking you of. Really, the really good one that you know caused the Quake to and then caused Trent Reznor to retire and just play the Quake for a bit before he went. Oh shit! I made music. 
the the shareware I, version of Doom. Don't worry, Shiver. I got, like, played that four too. Or five good Halo games, and then it just I don't know. They lost their way. I honestly, the I only have... thing that matters in Halo for the entire core of the population who play it is split screen co op, and they have two games in a row that doesn't have it. It's like, well, I the... guess that's that's it then. I I have to say I don't care about the split screen co-op but but no no, no hang on but I know I, you don't no, no but Eric there are a lot let of me, people who do uh, Eric just... <laughs> if you just say it it would already be over by now <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the split screen co-op, but I understand caring about a feature like that because um, Diablo 4 came out and I love the game. It looks so good, but it's done the thing that games do now that I hate the most, which is four person party limit. You can only play with four people. You can only play Halo with four people. You can only play this with four people. You can only have a party of four people. Even fucking Baldur's Gate 3, which is coming out. Guess what? Four people. You know what? New Starship Troopers game. Check that out. That's that's catering. Oh, I know. I know. I want, want to. I Believe me, I know. I want to. But like, but that's, the, that's so many game. games, so many games come out no. that are like four problem. people. Fuck off. Or three. My D&D my which is D&D a fucking weird party, number. Three is a weird number. the The new Space Marine, uh, Sp- Space Marine Two, is three coming out. Co-op? That's three, three. At least there's co-op. Oh, it's I'm really happy. weird. But why three? Yeah, I, I don't. Don't get me wrong. I'm great. I love co-op. Right. I'm right here. Fucking yes. But I, it, it it's more of a why three? And why <laughs> four? That's a weird it's, number. It's Baldur's Gate. All D and D groups are five people, or more, or more. Yeah, like your D and D group is five four or more. D, a four person D and D group is a small group. <laughs> but even a four a four Jordan. person D and D group still has a fifth DM. Yes, I yeah. got a crazy story for you. A very quick crazy story. Uh, you're you're all familiar with Star Trek Online, no? Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, I don't know if this has changed because it's been a while since anyone's wanted to play it with me, and I've wanted to play it. But we had a brief moment, like a month, two months, where you the fucking game to be honest uh where it was we, we had a group of people we wanted to play we only have four people yep. in an mmo yep that's fucking weird it's yep. an mmo what yep since when was there ever a limit on a party in an mmo yep there are oh, there have been lots anyway I, I, uh really getting back to star marine this all comes back to Star Marine being hopefully a really good test bed for CIG to perfect the um, the gunplay of the game, which is going to be really important. Was that a good segue? Did I did I? Yeah, that was that was a beautiful segue. Let's go back to watching shooty stuff. Yeah, I'm so gonna get my pause on right back. Yep. Make so sure you I know the Tonks thing while he's gone. I won't. Um, I I like this uh, single weapon mode. I like the experimental oh, modes it. that they'll be able to I use to, to test thing out. Yeah. I mean, it's sorry, but this goes back to the best Unreal Tournament. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Sorry, Actually, that was which... my exposure to it. No, hang on, hang on. I gotta look something up. Uh, Unreal Tournament. Uh, when did oh. Unreal Tournament come out? 1999? Yeah, that's when I played a lot of uh, single uh, weapon uh, multiplayer stuff. Fuck off. Okay, this does go back to the originator of the FPS, like, in my opinion, not, not the FPS, like, genre, but... The I want to say the popularizer of like multiplayer FPS, which was GoldenEye sixty four, oh, which had you know 
all golden gun all rocket launcher all remote mines all whatever the all you know uh glocks like whatever you yeah. wanted i played so much of that game with my friends golden eye 64 that yep. so funny when you go back and look at that game because it looks like total garbage <laughs> but, <laughs> it was phenomenal and you always had that one friend that was a dick and played odd job and you'd like i'm not going to speak to you again fuck you I was the I was the only person allowed to play odd job in our group because I was shit at an FPS with a fucking controller. I still lost. Um, and we can also just just going back to the previous topic. We can also go back to things like GoldenEye sixty four, which are the reason that we have a four player party limit because there was a four player max on controllers because that was the only way that was the best way to split a square screen was into four smaller squares yep so Gotta that's love why those old crt screens yep and those crt screens are why the four player party was popular like was well, standardized and why it's still the industry standard even though guess fucking what we've moved fucking beyond that no Apparently that's why not. they still do it um anyway um the funny thing is, so GoldenEye 64 was great. Perfect Dark was a better game. Not a game I played much of. A little bit. Better Another game. name. It was also done by Rare. It was It was the same studio, but it was them doing their own thing rather than a licensed rare yeah. did everything they did golden eye perfect dark um one of the best video games ever made conquers bad fur day they did um do you know conquers bad fur day shiver no but i love the fucking Holy name shit. i'm interested just by that name look please look up conquers bad fur day it is a hundred percent your alley uh, but they also did like Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, it's a rare were... game. But it's a good platform game. You got to watch some um, video of it. Trust Shiver. I know you hate platformers. Trust me on this one. So are we going to talk about the arena to talk about the uh, yeah, we're the gonna... penguin rocket launcher. Uh, no, we're not talking about the Pico lock rocket launcher. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> uh tip i'm i really hope that we actually see some perfect dark tomorrow but um the Close most your eyes, interesting, you will the most interesting things that they talked about in this is not that you know oh we're doing single weapon modes because single weapon modes are great it's gonna let them say we want to test this new gun yeah here we're gonna this is all you play in this new mode you just play with this mo gun that's gonna be great What's more interesting is that it sounds like they have a lot more control over all aspects of the game. They were saying that like they used to not be able to swap out your loadout very easily in mid-game. Now they can swap whatever they want. And now they can do things probably like a Pico rocket launcher if they so choose. They can <laughs> they can do things more easily. They have more control over the game modes, which is going to allow oh. them to use it as a test bed more efficiently because the thing you need to be able to do for an effective test bed is to be able to change it rapidly. Yeah. If you can't yeah, rapidly sure. and easily change the parameters of the test bed you can't get accurate testing if you start it up and you're like this gun is too powerful we're going to tweak this and you can't immediately test that you have to wait for the next patch yeah it's a big problem no Bad. it needs to be needs to be something you can hot fix yep 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 um sure, this all okay? a lot of fun i'm excited to i'm excited for 320 i'm hoping you're looking that... a little <laughs> yeah um, uh, go ahead eric sorry i was just gonna say i'm looking forward to 320 i'm hoping that uh, we can play lots of star marine and arena commander and and these other modes that we're gonna see coming up in a little bit well i have to say they were listing it um at the end of the show they were listing all the stuff that's coming in 320 and 320 is gonna be huge 
Yeah. It's going to be a really, really big update, and it's going to include things like Gun Rush. Who doesn't love Gun Rush? Gun Rush sounds amazing. Also, pl- potentially, potentially devastating if you get stuck at pistol level. <laughs> but have you ever played a Gun Rush game mode? Like it's it's a I game mode that exists in other games. It's it's never lovely. Okay, so shiver for you. The idea of Gun Rush is you start with a pistol. When you get a kill, that pistol gets upgraded to an SMG. When you get another kill, that pistol gets upgraded to an assault rifle. When you get another kill, it gets upgraded, like, blah, blah, blah. And there's a whole... And every kill you get, your gun gets upgraded. And it's just... And and I think the, the goal of it is, like, whoever gets a kill at the la- like the highest tier gun wins normally, but, like... It's such a fun game mode because it's constantly changing. Um, yeah, this looks uh, like a lot so, of fun. Kenny, I don't think that, like, this is the legacy code of Arena Commander going away is not going to help the rest of Star Citizen for code. I think it's just Arena Commander being updated to yeah. code that's in the persistent universe right and i mean i think that'll help star citizen in that i think more people will play yes um which in even just having people playing the game will help a lot with testing. it's gonna help it's gonna help with more people playing and more people like it's hard to get into battles into mm-hmm. into fps battles in the persistent universe yeah it just is Wait, well ones that actually work yeah. yeah, ones that are where you can actually get data, those don't really happen in the Persistent Universe. Whereas in Star Marine, they're going to be able to get data constantly because they do need to balance the gunplay, both for the Persistent Universe, but also for Squadron 42, honestly. So, yeah, to a certain yeah. degree. Yeah. Um, um, and yes, they the... plan on, even if they plan on doing work on desync through AC, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess they can test it faster in AC, maybe, but they still... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, hey, if it if it ends up helping them, that's just awesome. But I would expect... should be I, detrimental, I wouldn't expect, should it? What was that? It's not going to be detrimental, is it? No. No, is it? This, this, is, nope. this is only going to be good for the game. Um... In in the way that, like, what have I been asking for for the last, I don't know, three, four years and saying would be the biggest that help to start Citizen? Freelancer. No, no, the Freelancer I want... Than three or four years. The Freelancer, one, is longer than that, and two, it, that's that's for me personally. Uh, because, because, to be clear, Chris Roberts promised that it, would, it was going to be a better ship than it is, uh, quite frankly. Um... Yes, this is going I back like a long you way. Called him out, uh, called him up personally. Chris Roberts, you, you lied to me. Give no, me my Chris, ship. Chris Roberts said that the Freelancer was going to be the small one. It was going to be the smallest ship capable of traveling through a small jump point. Or the, lar- the largest, sorry, the largest, largest ship, ship capable? capable of traveling through a small jump point. And it was supposed to be like the everyman ship. It was supposed to be... It, it, the freelancer was supposed to be everything that the cutlass became. Quite frankly. Okay. Anyway, that's a whole different thing. I'm not over it. Nope. But I'm I'm putting it aside. Um, You're under it. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, I'm, saying I'm not sure. Neither am I. Uh, I was saying something. I would like to know. Uh, Nakara, or Shiver, I suppose, in this case, could you quickly look up what was Eris' highest rated ships, like his top three? Yeah, I can look. And I want to know whether or not he can name them. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. Isn't it? Top rated ships? Yeah, your top three rated ships, in order, starting at three. Are we counting... It's uh, whatever you've already said on the well, list. Well, there's a, there's the T for Tonk. Yeah. Because the, there yeah, are some ships. Yeah. There are some ships that have 
outside ratings because of the ship. Um, the reclaimer I mean, is up a T has got to be the top rating. In theory, um, no, I have way more than three top rated ships, Kenny. But this is this is from me rating my rating that all the, this is Eris rates ships because. Um, um, okay, I'm going to. I want you to name. Four ships that you gave no five ships that you gave an A to. An A. Uh, okay, the Starfighter, the Reclaimer. Right. Starfighter was yes. The Reclaimer. Yep. The Reclaimer. Okay. Was nice. I think the hull. The hull. Okay. Maybe the hull like A or B. Um, we did not review the hull A. We Where's reviewed the, the hull B, and you gave it an A. So yes, you okay. are correct. Um, the hull B. God. I'm trying to think of ships right now. He's got three. Yes, ghost. Ghost. Oh wait. Is that an original concept for it? At the bottom there? Yes and no. Yes and no. They, that... they have said that a lot of the art that came out at that time yeah. was filler, it was concept. Oh, yeah. You remember there's that fucking weird Jean Scout or Jean mm-hmm. Transport mm-hmm. out in the really early concept? I, actually... I like... Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking chip. I don't actually know if I've ever yeah. seen that concept art, to be honest. I I have seen it, but I haven't seen it in years. Thank you very much for digging that up, Ghost. That I like that. That sized up a little bit would be a great freelancer. That's a actually. very small ship. It's only the same size as the Hornet. Oh, I know, but size that up, but keep that same design. Yeah, that'd be uh, it's cool. that's that's like what the Herald was supposed to be. Is it the Herald? The kind Jake of. Herald? Before they, before they, like totally blew it up. Yeah, blew the, the, the oh, made it horrible. Yeah. All right, David, we need two more. Two I, more ships. I, you give an A two. I'm trying to think of ships. Mm, I don't know hint? if I would have given that. Yeah, sure. Give me a hint. There are two that you haven't already said that are under Aegis. But that uh, I don't even know what ships are under Aegis right now. Uh, I, I I have this look. There are so many ships now that I genuinely <laughs> have like a problem. <laughs> I I genuinely have a problem like remembering ships. But um, I want to say the Avengers on there. I want to say the Avengers on there. Kimmy, he gave the Vulcan a C. Oh, the Vulcan's horrible. Um, I want to say the well, the Avenger. Yeah, you gave the Avenger an A. That's four then. Yeah, it's four. Yep. What else in in Aegis would I have given an, an A? There's only one uh, more. The Saber. I like the Saber. You the Eclipse. The Eclipse. The Eclipse. Yeah, it was the Eclipse. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I only the like Aegis the Saber. Eclipse. I only like the Saber Raven. Um, you gave both. You actually gave both of them the, a B. A B, yeah. B is. I mean, um, for me, for me, B is good. Now, this one should be obvious. But which two ships? So, okay, we're gonna talk spaceships here. Which one spaceship did you give the highest rating to? Sir, I know. Sir, 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 I know. Sir, sir, I know. I know. I know. Sir. All right, shiver. Yeah, Go shiver. The endeavor, and he gave it a U. That's right. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> the Endeavor is the highest rated ship, according to me, because it needed a U. Uh, because yep. CIG don't know how to spell. Um, and of course, the, the highest rated ground vehicle this is the Tonk, which gets a T. For T, yeah. T for I actually hate the Tonk, but I couldn't give it anything but a T. I think the Tonk design is horrible. I think the Storm design is horrible. I think CIG have absolutely... <laughs> honestly... Kevin is disowning you. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hey, hang on. No, no. Kenny, uh, I don't know if you know the rules here. The rules Visual of only. the rules of Eris Rate's ships is just how they look. I don't give a They're, damn what they do. Yep. Literally don't give a single shit so what they shallow. do. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's how they look. And the Vulcan looks bad. <laughs> All right. Um, Doesn't care about we talked... personality, only the looks. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Shiver, you're back. We can now talk about the other game mode that they announced, which yes. is Tonk the Royale. Tonk Royale. I'm which sorry, is... what? Did, did... Tonk... Just say that again so I know what you said. Tonk, Tonk Royale. Royale! I need to change my underwear. Um, you spawn in a tonk, and you kill other tonks. Yep, that's and they're it. Doing I'm in elimination I'm mode, in. and they're also doing um squadron battles. Yeah, squad battles. Battle and zone. Yes, please. They're also trying to get in another mode, which is hardcore elimination mode, where you only get one life. <clears throat> So we can it looks start like seeing so more much tonks. fun. Thanks, yeah, by the way, Kemi, for they said they're gonna. Reference. They said they're gonna add the storm in there, which is the second tonk. As soon as, uh, as, soon as more, we need more. There yep. are never enough tanks. That's right. More. So, I, I want. We need crazy alien tanks. Tank. Want crazy tank. I want massive fucking World Daniel War tanks. One recreations that are just three quarters tracks and have a shitty little fucking pea shooter gun but look awesome i want fucking tanks that can go fucking mild. i want a stealth tank i want tanks give me a tank battle yes! i want some i want some tanks that aren't horribly designed please i don't care if they're horrible or beautiful more tanks more each but every look, tank is beautiful look. in its own way the tonk is literally designed to incapacitate itself <laughs> yep the oh, sides it's a sh as a tank, it is a it's, sh design. it's literally it is, the worst. It is begging to be blown up in some way, shape, or form, but it looks so. You good. know what's fun to it do though? So Blowing up tanks. Let's do it. The the front. Okay, the sides of the tanks are flat, what? which means that any impact will destroy them. So the, the the treads are gone, and then the front of the tonk, where its gun is, is literally angled into the gun. So any shell that hits the front of it is going straight into the gun to destroy the gun and blow up the whole tank. Like, it's the worst designed tank in history. And yes, I am including World War I tanks when they didn't know what a tank was. <laughs> the, the worst the tank design was just to be clear for it. Just, just to be clear no I love that bicycle thing where it's like a bicycle with like a tent <laughs> the bicycle with him he literally yeah, cuts the fucking great. garbage can in half and he's just like blop yeah. blop I'm love a fucking it. tank um, <laughs> to be clear I, I want to say something so in uh, in 40 days 40 days from today I get a new house buying a new house and i'm moving into moving into it not in 40 days but i get the keys in 40 days there's a whole bunch of things we have to change in the house but one of the things that i am going to be allowed to build for myself because apparently i need a it tank sadly no almost as cool um i get to build myself my own like office room mm -hmm. and i get to fully insulate it including soundproofing the ceiling so that the rest of my family doesn't have to continue listening to me yelling about talks oh, and David. freelancers for the was, next was, oh, was, was this cat was was this mrs david's idea yes. oh yeah 100 <laughs> percent. yeah you know you know what this is really about we should well, have, th we this should is, have Mrs. This Harris on this show brain movement. to interview her about, about David Sturz's opinions. <laughs> This is an this is an incredibly genius move on her part. She's like, oh, all yeah. right, we're getting a new home. I'm sick to death of hearing this. Fuck her talking about freelancers and tonks. I'm going to... I know. And then it's like, you get a room that's soundproofed. Right. She and the rest of the family gets the whole house. And she's yes. like, ah, sucker. 
<laughs> oh no 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 you know why i i win this deal because you know what i also get i'm gonna be building this room in the basement uh sure no i'm gonna be building this room in the basement and we're gonna be finishing the basement it's unfinished right now i'm gonna slowly finish it yep. over the next couple of years but i also get to build a secret door for this room the door to Ooh. get into this room is going to be hidden behind a bookcase in the outside room. And I am going to have a book that you pull down to pull out the door to get into my game room. So I fucking win. Yes, you do. Everyone needs a bat cape. <clears throat> um, anyway, Tonk Royale looks phenomenal. Uh, it's it's not a murder basement. Um, it's actually a really Is nice basement. basement. A murder basement? <laughs> it's better than a murder basement because it's got a walkout. It's a walkout basement. Oh, it's a walkout murder basement. Cool. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that the basement has like doors out to the outside. Yeah. Because it's on the house is on a hill, so yeah. the front doors are on the main level at the front but at the back there's like a full sliding glass door that goes out to the back from the basement. the basement yeah mm. yeah yeah. Mm. yeah um this is a total uh, aside but uh, I think it's really good, funny. good idea pixie <laughs> one of the hospitals i used to work at it's built on the side of a hill and it's one of the things i always thought was extremely bizarre about it is that there are three levels where you can exit directly to the outside the nice. main level the ground yep. level and the basement all awesome. exit to outside <laughs> so weird yeah, i suppose technically any building you can has an exit to the outside it just depends on whether or not you're willing to jump <laughs> Okay, um, a, a soft landing exit to the other side. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Any, I'm I'm really excited uh, for 320. I think that this is going to be a really important patch. Um, they were also talking a little showing bit. showing racing videos again. What's going on? Well, no, because they were also talking about one of the things that they want to add. They're not sure if they're adding it in 320 or, or later or if they even are. But they want to add betting on races. A betting like functionality yeah. so that you can bet on races which like yeah that's cool fantastic love it um yeah kemi you're right like this is this is going to get people playing arena commander again and not just the the star marine oh, stuff yeah. but everything they're adding they there's the new locations there's updates there's the 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 friggin pirate swarm capital ships i want to do that and then they also said something about infinite wave battle uh vandal swarm at the end <laughs> that they, they literally said infinite wave vandal swarm and we'll let you figure that out when it launches wow that sounds fun well, I, you know, there's gonna be sick. some poor bastard who's on wave he does he's gonna do like a 24-hour stream he's gonna be on wave like 567 <laughs> exactly <laughs> Uh, watch it's gonna be us and then, he's, he's just like, <laughs> and then chat's just like has anyone told him he's been dead for six hours in game <laughs> oh man That's star citizen is a lot of fun yep. right now in my opinion the persistent universe actually exists to deter you from fun unless you enjoy uh being an asshole and pirating uh because yes the two are the same i don't i don't care you have to be a bit of a dick to be a pirate period you're more of a dick if you're a griefer but you're a bit of a dick if you're a pirate sorry um and shiver you know i'm right unless you enjoy you're right you're right, you're right. i'm always right uh unless you enjoy like piracy the cargo gameplay mining or salvaging the latency lots of like there are a lot of problems that hinder the more visceral 
gameplay types the the dog fighting the fps combat you die in arena commander in a dog fight well you you spawn back at at base and it takes you 20 minutes to get back into a new dog fight right like it's arena commander and um, these updates it, yeah it is but but arena commander and these updates because it is arma and right now it's lenient honestly because i think that star citizen is one they're gonna make it harder to die they've already done that with soft ship death i think they're gonna increase like increase the oh, time it takes to actually it's blow gonna up continue a to go ship. down that road yeah for sure it's going to be hard to die in star citizen why because when you die in star citizen you're dead like death is going to be a bad thing but if death is a really bad thing in the game then they have to let you do racing and FPS and dogfighting and all those really fun visceral things in a separate mode. And they they have they've ignored Arena Commander for years. And this is I, I think this is some of the best news for Star Citizen. And I really hope that with this update, uh, when it comes out, they start prioritizing advertising. Arena Command. I hope that they advertise Arena Commander as a thing to be played. Like, like, tell people that this exists. Yeah, totally. Make, I, I still think they should make Arena Commander completely free to play for anyone. Like, I, I genuinely think that this game mode should be available. Maybe even sectioned off. Like, if you don't have a, a ship on your account or a a package on your account you only get access to one or two game modes or one or two ships but this should be available for everyone because this is the more visceral like well and it if they want really high stress testing that's how they get it yeah i mean ac is really good for just the exact reason that you said sometimes you do just want to Get into some action as quick as you can because a space combat is fun. Simple yep. as that. And you don't want to fuck around having to go and reclaim a ship, go find a ship, go find a... uh, AC. Done. Loads of different modes as well. And then, yeah, it's brilliant for when you want to play Star Citizen, but you can't be asked dealing with the persistent universe. Yeah. Yep. Or you just have a specific, you're just like, well, I really want to play FPS combat um, or whatever. And you're like, yeah. well. I, I want to make, I want to make another point here just because, so Tupitarius said, uh, there's a lot of people mad about that uh, Arena Commander is getting attention. Uh, there's a lot, same as they're mad that Squadron 42 is getting attention. And it yeah, made cool. me think, uh, no, no, but it made me think, so there's, there's an author that I like. Uh, I like him. I, I've i read, like, two of his books. They were excellent, but I haven't read the rest. Uh, John Scalzi. He wrote Old Man's War, which is fantastic. He also wrote, wrote uh, Red Shirts, which, if you like Star Trek, you should read. Red Shirts is great. Uh, he's written a ton of other stuff. He's a phenomenal author, but I like him as a human, and I follow him for the things that he says. Um and I'm I'm just gonna read out a a uh, a skeet he sent because this is from Blue Sky, not Twitter. Because uh, fuck Twitter and fuck uh, everyone involved in the company that is Twitter, um, and specifically fuck Elon Musk for being a xenophobic, uh, homophobic, transphobic, uh, racist bastard. Honestly, um, so John Scalzi classist. says, "Don't forget, he's fucking classist. classist, classist as well." Yeah. Uh, Elon Musk is one of the most horrible people in the world, and I fucking hate that jackass. Um, I'm an introvert in rural Ohio who lives away from most of my friends, and this, uh, social media, is how I do a lot of my socializing. So I hope that the social media sites don't disappear entirely. That said, if people realized how much the modern internet is designed to enrage them for clicks and decided to to not do that that would be great because it is the people getting mad yeah. and it's infectious are... yep 
there are just regular people out there. But, you know, this goes beyond normal trolling. This is a, a, They just want to be angry. There are most definitely people out there that just want to make anger. They just... It, yeah. Why? But why? Look at, look at YouTube videos. I'm like, hey, Diablo came out and it's great. And you look at YouTube videos of it and it's like, these are Diablo's horrible these are the five biggest problems if blizzard doesn't solve this it's dead and it's all it's clickbait, designed isn't it? it's, it's, it's the evolution of clickbait over these years yep. and what it's turned into is now just enragement culture you know people what it goes beyond the whole uh turning your head to look at the car accident situation this is you're you're deliberately throwing bits of broken glass on the road to make a fucking car accident happen but but i like the other thing is people continually talk about that anger, right? We talk about the people that are We're angry. Doing it now. Star we are. And uh, it, it's a hard thing to do. Our brain isn't really wired for this, honestly, as humans. Um, but we have to stop paying attention to the anger. We have to stop letting, giving the people that are that are just angry a platform because um, uh, here's a good example Twitter has made it or will be making a design change in how they pay out which means that they're going to be paying people for engagements period like if you you in, if you get x number of engagements you get x amount of money which means it's not going to be about actually putting out content that means anything to you it's what can you say that will get the no. most in no yeah it's whose sex organs are going to get the most fucking attention for me no it's but but it's that but it's also like oh you mean if a white supremacist says something horrible and everyone dunks on them and says they're a horrible person, guess what? They're actually making money off it. Like, like we are, we are prioritizing the wrong things and uh, social media and this whole like anger. Like I, 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 I still see like, very regularly people being like i can't play star citizen when's everyone going to admit that it's horrible and dead and like this doesn't work and this doesn't work and, and shut the fuck up go play something else you fucking asshole it's an alpha shut the fuck up calm down touch grass like just fuck off just no seriously if I'm you not, care, I'm if not you taking are, a piss. This is a sincere clap. Thank you. No, I know. No, no, I know. But like, if if you are ang if you are this angry about anything in your life, fuck off. Like, like, remove yourself from the situation. Fuck off and take a breath. And and like, we we shouldn't be this angry about ninety percent of the things that happen. Like we it, yeah. I don't know. I'm. I don't think oh. that that's a change that Twitter is making, David. Uh, like, yeah. A quick look, a quick look says that it uh, it was started over uh, almost a year ago. Oh, it's something Musk tweeted recently. Uh, oh, yeah, about it. So he tweets I don't, I don't. He does. I don't know the details. I just saw it as like Musk tweeting something, and anyway, um, I. Yeah, I, let's, let's. I always found it funny I, that suddenly yeah. he takes over Twitter, and mm. then every single time you click on Explore, there's his account suddenly always in that list, and you're like, yeah, <laughs> he, he, yeah. Um, I do want to to take an, because we're I'm I'm on this sort of rant thing because I haven't done a rant in a bit. Um, I want to take a second to say a very sincere fuck you. Um, to anyone that was angry that CIG uh, is is supporting Pride Month, 
um, and that they support the oh, LGBTQ absolutely. plus community. People were angry about that. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, they got crap for it. Tons of people. A oh, huge. Yeah. Uh, I, I wholeheartedly embrace this, David. Huge uh, fuck you to anybody who huge, doesn't support Pride Month. A huge fuck off, and honestly you should seriously consider who you are and the problems that you have as a person if you have any problem with uh, CIG supporting the LGBTQ plus community. Um, like, and, I, and I'm... I don't I'm, get it. How can I'm, anyone... Why is that? I'm positive I don't get that the no logic one here, there. I'm, I'm positive that no one here uh, is. No. Or supported that. Uh, because you're all good people. And I love you all. But we all need to be having conversations. I, I, my own family members made some yeah, no, like hateful comments towards trans people recently, and it hurt me. And um, I, I'm, I plan on like my mom said some things, and then she left for her vacation in Italy because she's rich. Uh, but when she comes back, I plan on on saying some things back to her, uh, because my mother, um, because I know trans people and I know tons of LGBTQ plus people, and they are some of my favorite people in the world. Um, Jake now goes by they them, and I will fight anyone that has any problem with Jake because Jake is one of the best humans I have ever known. So... There you go. Hit the nail around the fucking head. Like, COG support pride. Yeah. This is a good thing. But these people that are against... Do, 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 do they... Do they think that CIG has just like, you know, got a gaydar and it's like, oh, you're 3% gay. No. Can't have you in it. Is, is, is that seriously what they think it's like? Do they not? I mean, do you? Do, do you but I, you, I don't know. You, I'm, I'm trying to think of how I'm, to phrase this as well because I don't want to say you come across because that's inappropriate in that instance. You encounter uh, people from all walks of life, but they don't. They don't constantly no, every no, no, day, sure. and it doesn't affect you. Well, you I, do. Why can't you just get on with your own fucking life and stop caring who likes to stick what in what or not? Who <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> Fuck off. Anyway, what I'm, I'm what I'm trying to say here knows. is that okay? What I'm trying to say here because I know everyone here agree. Like you're all on board. Um, and what yep. I want to say is I know, I know that you're on board, but I would imagine that some, if not most of you, will have people in your life that are not. And we really are at the point where we have to start taking a stand because we have like i'm a cis white male <laughs> i'm fine you fucking basic <laughs> bitch <laughs> <laughs> i'm fine but there's a lot of people that aren't and Please. they are my friends and <laughs> we need to show them that we support them and they need our help yeah for sure yeah anyway I'm very lucky to be surrounded by like-minded people. <sighs> I, I don't really have anybody in my like circle that doesn't yeah. support LGBTQ um, plus. I yeah. I can't I can't remember the acronym at the moment, but um, there's there's <laughs> a very yeah. famous line by. Possibly one of the best prime ministers that Canada ever the had. Best prime minister. I mean, the yeah. best prime minister. The best I mean, is the best. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. He was hot. He was hot. Um, there's that cis white energy. <laughs> I'll admit it. He was hot, but it, it was something along the lines of uh, oh. the state does not belong in the better in the you know the bedrooms of the nation. That was. Uh... Mm. Pierre Trudeau? Pierre, Pierre mm. Trudeau. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Yes. The, the state does not belong in the bedrooms of the nation. And that's that's how it is. He said that a long ass long time ago. Long fucking time ago. Anyway. 
Um, I just, sorry, it's Pride Month, um, and I was really disgusted by the comments that uh, that CIG were forced to deal with on their on on Jake's yeah, it was pretty, contest. Pretty it was disgusting, and we're talking about Star Citizen, and this is something that has to be talked about as part of Star Citizen because yeah. there are people in the community that need our, need our support. And the very, very, very small soapbox that we have, we're going to make it clear that we support them. Yep. Anyway, all that said. Thank um, you for your support. Uh, Alpha 320 is looking good. It is looking good. Um, the Hull C is still tentatively in 320. Um, can I just say, for just a second here, holy fuck, the whole season gonna break the fucking game. Oh yeah, it just it just casually shatter the economy. It's gonna break everything. Yep, I uh, love it. It's like, gonna be great. The whole sea is going to completely destroy the game. And um, ponder ponderously wander in. This gigantic cargo <laughs> ship and just shatter the economy. You gotta move your tonks with something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kemi, uh I <laughs> Kemi, I predict we're gonna get uh three twenty before Citizen Con. I think Citizen Con's gonna be a whole nother ball game. We've well, got we have to play still... baseball at Citizen Con? No, Cinnaball. I, oh, I, you makes fucking sense. joke. I want it. I still want, I want fucking it. I still want it. Look, if they're implementing uh, betting for racing, <laughs> oh, they, they're gonna, hey, hold on, because they're going to implement betting for racing. They're also yep. going to have to implement, or should implement, uh, picture in picture. So cameras on the racetracks that can broadcast the races to places around the verse and in those places around the verse there are going to be betting terminals where you can bet on the races but then they should also do that same thing for Santa Ball tournaments and they should have Santa Ball tournaments on different days from racing tournaments so they can have racing tournaments and Santa Ball tournaments and, and Star Marine tournaments and Arena Commander tournaments all in game in the verse broadcast in the persistent universe universe bet on you like reminded it. me by the way uh something like in a race smile that's been dropped that i th would like added back in as an idea okay. and expanded upon uh one of the ideas went back in there when they were calling it the in dog day. fighting module Back in there, uh, they said, uh, you know, long term plan, one day in future, uh, an Idris will spawn in and attack you. And that's the end of Arena Commander. That's the last of them. I'm like, well, that's that's how can the we have form? that? Except, yeah. I want to be able to board the fucking thing as well. Can we <laughs> do that? Cool. Can we, we can we mix the two? Well, they talked about that long, 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 long time ago about yes, wanting to have they that. Did. Yes, but Pirate yes. Swarm. It's I want happening it. in Pirate Swarm. Where is it? The Idris is coming in Pirate Swarm. Can you board the ships in Pirate Swarm? I no. don't think so. No. But. Not yet, but anyway. It's a not yet. And I think I think it's probably not yet just because they still don't really want the Idris interior shown off. Well, that's... And, that's, then, you actually, that's not... and then you actually have to load the goddamn interior into the game, which is yeah. problem. <laughs> but I mean, if yeah. it's an arena commander, it... I don't. I mean, maybe. Maybe I know this like is, fifty other players. I know this is also slightly off topic, um, but I just complete. No, sorry. Let me correct myself. I know this is also completely, <laughs> wholly, and like four countries over removed off topic, but I just want to say he's segueing. <laughs> No, no, this isn't a segue at all. This is completely off topic. <laughs> this is just an interruption. Uh, this is just uh, like, uh, this is your broadcast and I'm just like, I'm stopping your broadcast for a David Service announcement, which is, um, I I think that two of the, the, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a segue. 
I wish it was a Segway. Did you know that the guy who invented Segway died by driving off a cliff while riding a Segway? Because that's yeah, a weird did. Segway. Um, I wanted to say that I think the two best comedy skits of all time. One oh, of wow, them is who's really on first. Oh, I know. One is who's on first. Okay. And the second is the four Yorkshiremen. I don't know if I've ever heard either one. What? I know and I've heard what... the first one I, only just the other day. Who's on first? Yeah. Have you not heard Four Yorkshire? I didn't like it. I, 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 uh, was, have, was it the Abbott and Costello? What's the premise of the skit? The uh, Four Yorkshiremen? I... It's Four Yorkshiremen who are like one up it all. Back in the day, I worked at Mill for puppets on the hour. And when I got home, my dad me over the head with a wooden Why spoon. Why does your Yorkshireman sound like he's from Devon? <laughs> I don't know where a Yorkman's from. Uh, what it Yorkshireman? Listen Yorkshire. to Captain Picard, he's Yorkshireman through and through, he is. He, he, saw, he saw Yorkshire that when the ambulance came to pick him up, he still had a cup of tea in back. They do say cup of tea several times in... In the uh, in the oh, skit, go go listen to for Yorkshireman. To it is you want to practice Yorkshire, you should practice the ever popular phrase and sentence tin tin tin, which when translated from tin 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 means it isn't in the tin. Tin tin tin. Ah, that's like ver 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 ver, which tin. means le ver 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 ver, which means the green worm goes towards the green glass. That's not okay. bloody Yorkshire. No, it's nope. not. Uh, anyone, if it's anyone hasn't that, that water bit there, yeah. If anyone hasn't seen either of these, <laughs> oh, skits, Lake District. Oh, how go, exotic! Once, once we're done here, once we, you know, provide you your evening Just so you back guys to are you, aware, I do actually have to leave right on time tonight. Too. Yes, we we are going to do this on oh, time. Oh, book it, book it. Let's put a hole in the bonnet. <laughs> no, you know, we're totally on topic too, so that's pretty I, bad. I, 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 fuck it. While we're in this complete mystery realm, I've we we did an episode of VTM yesterday, and um, they were going after demons. And at one point, their driver became a Yorkshireman, and they were talking about demons and whatever. And in character, I said, "Oh, a demon! Oh, he's a badden!" And no one fucking got it. No one fucking got it. I had to literally explain a, it is a the phrase from oh, Yorkshire. Yeah. He's a badden, and he's a bad guy, but also Abaddon. A badden. Abaddon. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well done. That's awesome. Yeah, thank, I'm glad um, someone finally appreciated it. See, I'm glad you you know it. I I would I will suggest to everyone once we're done here, go and watch for Yorkshireman. YouTube it. Uh, also YouTube. Uh, who's on first? Uh, find the oldest, crappiest looking videos of it you can find. Um. Like with the black and white ones that look like they're crap, those are the good ones. Cool. And uh, please, in the Discord, in off topic or wherever the hell you choose, let me know what you think. I want to. I, I want to know what other people think. I. He wants to know. I. I quite like um, four candles. That's that's a good skit. Uh, I don't know I, if I've it's heard two that. Ronnies as well, and, and so I feel a bit. You know, I feel a bit uncool even admitting I like it because it's they're, they're they were very very clean cut uh, right. comedians back in the day. They they were they were the clean cut time period where you would have two men in a bed in pajamas. No one thought there was anything wrong with that because they yes. were that clean cut comedians. <laughs> I will be yeah, right the, back. The, the two the two runners, they were they were really good to be honest. But man, and it's Yorkshire. Man walks into a thrift shop and he's like, all right. I need four candles. Guy gets out four candles. He's like, no, 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 no. I need four candles. Bloody four candles. No, no, I need four candles. Four can no candles for forks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, you know, it carries on, but it, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh so funny. What was that? What was that? What the fuck was that? There was an 
old. Mm. I have to it, say, it's an old Monty Python-ish Yorkshire comedy one-off movie. Uh, something about the adventures of Eric Althwaite or something like that. It's got Michael Palin in it. It's got some fucking great lines in it. Like there, there's a bank robbery going on, and they're all saying, "All right, everyone, stand up, stand up. You, manager, stand up." And the manager's behind this. Like, I am standing up. And also had the classic line of, I once had black pudding that was so black, even white bits were black. <laughs> <laughs> check check that out. That's fucking crazy comment. I love it. <laughs> um, okay. I know that Eric has to leave on time, so we're going to actually yeah, start. Minutes. We're going to start the end times early. <laughs> yeah, um, I think also, I think we've already we've already embraced that look outdoor. <laughs> also because I'm sorry, what the fuck have we been doing for the last This is very no, this is like right on the this is on the money for this show. Nailed look, it. uh Tipitarius, you were saying earlier, I'm guessing we're not gonna play the Star Citizen tutorial tonight. Um no. I made that decision a half hour ago and then decided to fill the time. Uh, because there wasn't any point to a half hour of uh, the tutorial. We'll get to it. I apologize. But tonight was fun. Uh, so thank you all for, for hanging out and joining us. Uh, Shiver, what have you got going on? Uh, this week we've got VTM Oxford's Ashes coming up on Friday. Half of the new TC, I think. Uh, join Discord as well, because we, we're starting to do a few more things in there. I might... I might show off something that um, is hard, wet, and likes to be stroked. Ooh. Nice. Wet palette. Nice. Wet palette. Yeah, we, we, we're starting to do Warhammer stuff in Discord and... Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Over on Table of Horrors. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash Table of Horrors. I will also say, please join us tomorrow at around yeah. twelve thirty Eastern. Uh, we're going to stream the Xbox uh, thing. The Xbox have a thing where they're announcing what's coming out. They're probably going to show Fable, and I'm going to cheer, and uh, we'll see what the fuck happens. I have probably <laughs> sure one of the best happy. moments ever for Relay was was when. Fable was a first announced, when I, and you were finally right. Was when I right. called it? When was when I called it? Yeah, and it yes. was. It was. It was the eight hundredth time you'd called it, and you were actually right for once. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um. Yeah, and Kemi, we will also cover the Starfield direct immediately after, uh, oh, yeah. because I want to see some Starfield. Um, for sure. That's a game Xbox, I will likely play a lot of. If it's any yeah. good, and I think it's Xbox, gonna be good. Microsoft has had some some issues lately. Redfall did not go well, and from the sounds Redfall of it, was bad. They should have. Uh, it had so much potential, and just was bad. Well, um, it sounds like it didn't actually have much potential. The word from the developers was that they all hated making it. They never wanted to make it in the first place. So well, it had it had potential because it was an arcane game and it was an arcane game in interesting setting. They just had bad um like forced direction to make it. A... It was really bad when your team doesn't want to make the game. Yeah. <laughs> which which is unfortunate cuz they've made some phenomenal problem. games. Uh Prey, yeah. if anyone hasn't played Prey, oh my god, Prey. What a game. Anyway, yeah, which Prey? Uh, Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, 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 strength to Ukraine. Uh, support LGBTQ plus people. And please remember that the earth is dying and we are slowly killing it. Climate change is everywhere. And also, hey, Star Citizen's pretty good. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.